Hey, well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Monday evening community webinar. Uh, Robin and Gregory here from beautiful and snowy, cold Bozeman, Montana. We feel like we're at the North Pole, and uh, and we're getting ready for this wonderful holiday season, and just feel really blessed and honored to be able to spend this time with you. And uh, this will be our last Monday evening call for the year because. I don't think, are we doing a call? I don't think we're doing a call next Monday, the day after Christmas. We're taking the holiday off, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, New Year's. Uh, this is quite a wonderful time of year we have here. And this is a time of year where Robin started a ritual long before I met her. And she's, uh, and it's become my ritual too. And 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 we did a wonderful call last Thursday with J.J., uh, Joshua about, you know, the art of completion. And Robin's going to talk to you about a very simple personal process we can each do. And after you talk about it, Robin, I'll share some personal experiences we've had with, have, have had with it with our friends and family. But uh, this is such a beautiful thing that you've created, darling. I'm going to turn this first part of the call over to you. <laughs> Thank you, honey. And ho, ho, ho. And I ask everyone to wear your headgear, not that we can see you, but it puts you in the spirit of it all. And so, as everyone knows, we've been putting a lot of time and attention into, you know, this last quarter being so powerful. So how you end the year is how you start the year. And we want you to end and start strong. And I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Can you see me better? Mm -hmm. And, you know, a, a little bit about this, this, this process came to me in the 80s, and I adopted it and tweaked it, and have been sharing it all over the world. Thousands of people get it every year. I'll be sending it out to my massive list. You might get it more than once, and that's okay. Um, but what, uh, what happened to me when I first did it was really quite profound of really you know, taking this is a time that so many of us, that week after Christmas, before the new year starts, is a time that a lot of us take in self-reflection. And I do invite you to really spend some quiet time with yourself and, and really taking a look at your year. And if you haven't listened to the call from JJ last year, I highly recommend it because it fits right in. I started doing this before I met, what was it about? No, it was before I met JJ actually, because I was in San Diego when I, when I started this. And it has changed my life. And I have a notebook, Gregory calls me his binder babe. I have a notebook where I write down the answers and I put them in my notebook and I may not look at them at all the entire year. And then when I go back, it's amazing what happens. So I invite you to just jump in with me and, and engage in this process and really take a look. You know, I think one of the most important things we can do at this time of year is to do that, to celebrate yourself. And, and really reflect, and Gregory's going to pull, good job, honey, <laughs> is, is really um, take the time to celebrate yourself. You know, we're going to talk about completions too, but really take a look at, you know, that very first question was what was, what was your biggest triumph in 2022? And, and, you know, it's okay to have more than one. And it's okay to write the first thing that comes to your mind, but that very first question is, is first for a reason, because it starts the energy out with celebration. And we want to invite you to celebrate yourself. You know, even if it was a crummy year, even if it was a challenging year, you know, the world is in turmoil, but you personally had a triumph at least one, it probably a whole bunch more. And so we're going to invite you to share in the chat. If there's any of these questions, I'm going to highlight a few of them that I think are especially valuable and important. Um, and, and like I said, I've been doing this every year and I say the same thing every year. I want to change the questions. I want to make them better because I know I could make them even better. But you know what? then they'd be different than the ones from the past. So I keep them the same. And every year I go through the same struggle. 
<laughs> but it's honest. But these and and many times what um what I have done is I've printed them out on pretty paper and I rolled them up and I put a ribbon on them. And when I go to an event or party, I give them as a gift. And it's a powerful gift. And the very first time I did this was in 1985. And it was 85 questions to um complete the year and create the new year. And I spent a whole day with someone and we got to know each other intimately. <laughs> so it was powerful. And then I went, this is too much. Most people will not do this. So I shortened it and took out some of the best. So biggest triumph from Janet was learning how to be a heart-centered team leader that elevates others to success. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, Janet. That's really beautiful. I think, Honey, I can't see your you got to flip your little thing over so we're together. So I, I invite you guys to live in that question, to start the energy off as you're completing 2022 in celebration of yourself. Mm. So, you know, what was the smartest decision? What was the one word that best sums up your 2022 experience? What's your greatest lesson that you learned? The most loving service. And here's where we start to get into the completion part. And for those of you that were on JJ's call, you'll realize how powerful this is to acknowledge unfinished business and also acknowledge what you're happy about completing. I know Gregory and I have a big one that we're going to share really easily. For many, many years, our unfinished business was we didn't sell the the Whidbey house or the Olympia house. We had two house extra houses that we needed to get rid of. And it, it took a while. So when that happened, I already knew because I know the questions, what I was going to write for the biggest piece of unfinished business, you know, or the most happy about completing. And then then we move into a little bit about the people, you know, who are the three people that had the greatest impact on your life? It's really wonderful to stop and get quiet and take a look at who they are and acknowledge them, go to them personally and let them know. This is that time. It's not always about what you give someone as a gift. Sometimes your presence and being totally there in the moment with them, acknowledging them of what a difference they made in your life and how huge that was can be the biggest gift they ever got. And so really sitting quiet and, and finding out. And then what's the biggest risk you took? I mean, I don't know about jumping off that... Um, uh, if that uh, white water down the uh, tubing or the horseback riding through the rivers or zip line, <laughs> I don't know. But I think the, some of the risks are actually, they don't have to be physical. They could be emotional risks. They could be any kind of risk that puts you in a territory that was, you know, uncomfortable. But look what happened because of you did it. And your biggest surprise, you know. What important relationship improved the most in 2022? And, mm -hmm. and then we get into what compliment would you have liked to receive? Or what compliment would you have liked to have given? And then finally, what else do you need to be complete? Because we're talking about putting the, the year to bed. And, and as JJ says, if you've got dangling participles out there, there are holes in the boat and they disempower us. So what do you need to be complete with this year? And this time between Christmas and New Year's when things get very quiet is such a beautiful time to take the time to do this. And I know I'm, I'm going to turn over to you, Gregory, to talk for a little bit, because I don't want to steal your thunder about the kids. <laughs> so why don't you you share before we move on to the, and then for those of you, I'd love to see what you write in the chat, because um, pick the question. Why don't you go ahead and that, share some of the chats, Robin, then I'll okay, share. I, I do. Okay. So Heidi, and, and thank you guys for jumping in like this. I just adore you guys so much because you're so willing to play. You're so willing to work on yourself. You're so willing to engage and trust us because we bring things to you from all over the place and you just keep showing up. 
And I just want you to know how grateful I am and how just honored to share this journey. So Heidi says, learning to trust my virtual Live Younger Lifeway family was triumphant for me. Oh, that's beautiful, Heidi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And John said, by just showing up and being present, putting myself out there, I connected with Dr. Tiana, cross country, New York to Sacramento. And she reached out to me with LifeWave and that was a triumph. Oh my gosh. I remember when she told me about you, John. That was a match made in heaven and so wonderful having you a part of our community. Thanks for showing up. Barbara Larrabee. Yes, Janet, we are so grateful. And uh, Janet Hudson, biggest triumph, finding LifeWave. That was my biggest triumph a few years ago, for sure. Uh, seeing and feeling the healing from using patches and then sharing it with others. What a gift to give to others, such a mm -hmm. blessing to be a part of their health journey. I don't think there's a better job out there than, you know, facilitating by sharing with people the gift we have and witnessing people's life transformation. And Heidi was saying, um, uh, biggest risk starting a new network marketing company three years after losing my Three days. <laughs> three days. Oh, three days after losing my 60. Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh. And, and she loves being risky. I love it. Jennifer, um, who are the three people that have the greatest impact on your life is such a fabulous part of this exercise, particularly in sharing with them. I, I so agree, Jennifer. It's it's such a gift to, to you know say, you know, I've been doing this exercise and looking at who had the greatest impact on my life. And I want to share it with you and let you know what a huge difference you made to me this year. And then share with them from your heart, look in their eyes, say their name, and let them know what a difference they made. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That could be the biggest gift they ever got. And Julianne, mm -hmm. her biggest triumph is not giving up on yourself. You go, girl. <laughs> and and cutting the cords that no longer serve me that's so much of what we get to do on this journey is look at where's the restraining forces where are we carrying baggage where where are we making life harder where are we holding on to stuff from the past to cut it all right mm -hmm. and jennifer said uh, the biggest triumph was, was focusing on life wave and becoming a manager maker with a delightful side effect, becoming a director, and then going to Tulum. How cool is that? <laughs> Casey, what changes do I make in order to see everyone's comments? Oh, well, you oh. should be seeing them if you, as soon as you got on, you should be seeing them, Casey. If you click on the chat, it'll open up. You know, down in the black bar, in the menu bar for Zoom, if you click on chat, it should open up a chat window for you. So you can see everybody's comments. So yeah. Robin, let me share. Yeah, because well, let me just say what Connie said because I, okay. he says, "How do I limit it to three people?" You don't need to limit anything. <laughs> you can no have limit. as many as you want. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay, go go ahead, and we'll come back and yeah, share. Yeah, I just want to say that you know this is this is really a yin and yang thing: completing and remembering 2022, and then creating 2023. And it reminds me, uh, years ago, a very dear friend of mine, uh, Christopher Rudy, you know, had gave me this metaphor. Uh, it's it's like it's important when you're driving down a road of life. Every once in a while, you're glancing up in the rearview mirror, but if you're staring in the mirror, you're going to run smack into the future, and it may not be pretty. You need to be focused on the future, and I love this because. This first, first part is a chance to look in the rearview mirror. Let's learn some lessons. Let's, as JJ said, you know, and some of them are done. You know, there's some things, there might be a few phone calls you need to make between now and the end of the year to bring conclusion or a letter you need to write or a word you need to say or someone you need to hug. And this is not just about business. This is about life, you know? And so I, I love this part. The part I love best is the creation. And as we move to the next page here. Oh, but, but before you get to creation, honey, you okay. said it in the words up above, you know, typically as Americans in our culture, we're uh, really good at starting things. We're not really good at finishing things. Uh, and if we don't finish things, then they end up being those dangling participles mm -hmm. and leaks in the boat. And so really, really taking a little bit of time and completing. So you feel like you put a bow on the year. 
-hmm. even if there's stuff that's didn't get complete that's okay you call it complete done you know and, and, and maybe and, it just goes on your on your to-do list from your review sure. you're going to have a list of to do you're not going to get it all done you're not going to I have so many projects going, there's no way I get them all done in the next 10 days. It's just impossible. But there's some I may just say, okay, it's done. You know, I, I, I'm, I it's going in the parking lot and maybe I'll pick back up on it in Q2 or Q3 or maybe never at all, but it's going to help me set my priorities. And, and uh, as, as we say, clean up those dangling participles, uh, the things that we otherwise may just take up space in our heart and our brain uh, and not leave space for that creative process moving forward into the new year. Yeah, thank you so much for that. And so as you go through this list, there are certain questions that'll, that'll be really easy to answer and come to you immediately. And some other ones you need to ponder on, and that's mm -hmm. okay. Live in the question and it'll come to you. It'll come and to I'll you. I'll say on that number, thanks for mentioning that. When I do this, because now I've been doing it for 20 years, okay? So I'm, I'm getting- How long have we known each other? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do it just like you said. I do a first pass and the things that are easy to answer, I answer quickly. And some of them I just go, whoa, that's a deep subject. And uh, I'll come back to that one. And that's okay. I just do a quick pass, you know? And, and then I might go back. I might spend a half hour or an hour on- page one, completing and remembering, or I might zip through it and flip it over to page two and start my creation process. And that's up to you. This is, it's a fun exercise. And I'd encourage everyone between now and New Year's Eve, or maybe on New Year's Eve, if you don't get it done before, carve out a half hour or hour or so for yourself, a quiet time, light a candle, have a cup of tea, whatever you do to relax. And you may do it alone, and you may do it with a partner. Typically, Robin and I do it alone. Then we go have dinner and we share the answers with each other. And it's a very fun process, you know, and it's interesting how, you know, some things, you know, were same exact thing. And something is like, well, that was yours. Well, this is mine. And it's a really a fun process. That's beautiful. But remember to start out and celebrate yourself. Yes. <clears throat> Celebrate yourself with your biggest triumph and your smartest decision, because that gets the energy moving in a really wonderful direction. And then, you know, pick whatever feels good and and come back to it, however it works for you. OK, OK, so now we ready for creating. Now we're ready. Now I want to share uh, to me this side to creating. This is like a, a, a variant of of it, mind mapping and treasure mapping put together. And, and this is really gets fun because this is where you kind of set the sails of your consciousness for where you want to go. You know, setting priorities. And as you said, Robin, I usually don't go back and look at these until this year, we're going to go back and look at last year and go, whoa, that was uncanny. We, we did it. Or, oh, well, that's still go. I'm going to move that forward to my 2023 plans but it's a really fun exercise so if if you're just doing it for the first time file folder or binder i'm a file file folder guy robin's a binder girl but you know hang on i'm to your it. binder babe honey that's right she's my binder babe uh but it's really a fun process to go back and a year two years three years whatever because these questions, you could pretty much count on it. We're going to be dropping these on you again, next, you know, 12 months from now. <laughs> We're going to be having a similar conversation and more stories coming from you. And I wish you would have had more time. It's been a very busy week, but we would have had some people that have been doing these questions with us for a period of time on here. And some of them are, are writing in the chats and some of the chats are really wonderful. But this is very powerful to set your intention for 2023. You, you took the words out of my mouth, honey. <laughs> I think a lot of you way. know that I work <laughs> a lot with intention. Mm -hmm. And intention has a magic to it way beyond goals. 
it's like it's it, it it opens up the work for God. It's like I remember going to a church service once and the ministers, the title of the talk was it's our job to decide the what and God's job to decide the how. And we we limited as human beings, but God has no limits or whatever you believe, a higher source, however you want to hold it. It's just setting the intention. What do you want your intention? What do you want your biggest triumph to be in this new year? And I, I have personally dealt with some challenges my entire life, and I've lived in the question, you know, of how to handle some of them. And this last year, I got a major piece, a major piece, and it's been going on most of my life. And so it's thrilling to me when, you know, it just keeps going and keeps going, but I'm holding on and I'm holding that intention. So what would you like your biggest triumph to be? What do you want to break through? You know, something that you never thought was possible. It is possible. And, and I love this next one. It's like, what advice would you like to give yourself? And I, I'd really live in that question because that can make a huge difference. You know yourself better than anybody. And, you know, sitting quiet and living in that question, that answer might come to you later. You'll see. And then the next one is, you know, major actions you're planning to, and please answer in the chat and we'll share some of those. Major actions to, are you planning to improve your financial results? It could be a lot of different things. You could be, you know, I'm going to develop another source of residual income. I'm going to finally write that book. I'm finally going to get myself out as a speaker. I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to budget or not. You know, <laughs> what is it that you want to do for yourself in 2023? And then this is a really cool one. What would you be most happy about completing? You know, back to the, you know, our houses that didn't sell. It was a crazy time in the market and blah, 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 blah. You know, when you know what it is that you want to be happy about completing. You know what it is. It's right there. So go for it. And this next one is a little stretch here. What major indulgence are you willing to experience in 2023? Like this last year, Gregory and I, I think a lot of you know, we took a vacation, our first real vacation since we started with LifeWave. I didn't bring my computer. I didn't talk on the phone. That was huge. <laughs> so now I get to look at what's the next one, you know? It's like, <laughs> wow. So, um, and then, and, and please do, you know, write in the chat so we can share some of your things. This is great, you guys. I'm loving what you're writing. Um, you know, what would you like to change about yourself? And this is where you want to be really gentle with yourself. You know, you want to love yourself just the way you are, but what would you like to have be even better? You know, so this is where I, you know, think about tweaking the questions, but you know what it means. So go for it. All right. And, um, and this is a business, as you know, that I love this business because Gregory and I call it um, a greenhouse. It's a greenhouse where we can grow into our potential. And that's my, my absolute love and passion about this profession is it is a personal development program with a compensation plan, and we have a safe place for everyone to grow. And so, you know, what would you like to learn this year? Where do you want to make a little stretch and try something you've never done before? And that goes with the next one is what do you think your biggest risk will be? It could be an emotional risk. It could be a physical risk. It could be a financial risk for you. What is it? And it, you can have different risks in different dimensions of your life. And then we move into, you know, what about your work? Are you most committed to changing and improving? You know, I have a whole long, long list about that for myself. <laughs> and, and Gregory will know exactly what I mean on, on some of those things. I've had a lot of fun with the next one is what is one as of yet undeveloped talent you're willing to explore? And this is this could be risky for some people, but it could be something like, you know, you've always wanted to learn sign language or you've always wanted to develop your writing skills or, you know, you want to start experimenting in the art world or who knows or acting, what, whatever it is for you. And this is a wonderful one, because if you want more joy in your life, to live in the question, what brings you joy and how are you going to have more of that? And sometimes we don't even ask ourselves the question, what brings you joy? What puts you in that place where you just 
are so alive and so joyful. And, and, you know, we are here to be in service. And so, you know, who or what other than yourself are you most committed to loving and serving in 2023? And, mm -hmm. um, and that could take you to a whole nother place in yourself when you really live in that question. And then, you know, looking back and we're ending 2023, What's the one word you want to have as your theme? Again, this is setting intention. You know, I, I know that I want to be really, really strong. You know, I'm, I'm focused on strength right now, and I'm, I'm doing all these things to get stronger. But what would you like to have as your theme in 2023? So I would like to read some of these. Honey, what else do you want to say while I'm looking to read some of these? Well, I just think this is such a, a wonderful process. You know, we get as you like to say, we get so tied up in our to-do list, we get surrounded by doo-doo, <laughs> you know? And and this gets you out of the to-do list into the, you know, creation process. You know, the law of attraction plays in here and, you know, and so many other universal principles of the divine truth start manifesting when we start focusing our attention forward. And to go back to the metaphor, my friend Christopher, you know, it's good to look in the rearview mirror, but then you want to chart your course. Where do you want your life to go? And this is that window of time. And maybe some New Year's resolutions come out of this that will help you steer into that best year yet. I love it. Thank you. Let me read a few more from the chat and keep writing in the chat. You know, pick the questions, you know, could be more than one that really speak to you. You know, this is huge. I did red nails. This is a risk for me. <laughs> I've never had red nail polish in my life. This is a big deal. Show to them do your this. nails. Look at that. Don't hold Look them up that. a little longer. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I could wear nail polish because my nails were so short, but I went for it anyway. And it was, I mean, it's a silly little thing, but for me, it was a big deal. And now it's fun. It's like, oh, I do feel very festive, you know? So let's read a few more. Carolyn Cole, Finding My Love Tribe in Life Wave. Happy dance. That's beautiful, Carolyn. Thank you. Uh, and Jennifer Starr, uh, CL, CL, what's CL? You have to tell us. Ravel, triumphant and grateful to be learning from the best leaders who remain teachable and consistent, <laughs> best role models in our life wife team, continuing to learn to master the art of the invitation, to recognize how resilient we are regardless of circumstances to continue to grow and share. Very thankful for LifeWave and the Live Younger community. I'll be listening to this again later and sharing with my team. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Ravel. And Janet's going to give a treat to herself. She's going to attend the 23 LifeWave Europe Convention. I, I think, think we should go with her. Means, I think she means the 23 SPD leadership function. In, oh. <laughs> I think that's what Janet Keeper is shooting for. Oh, that, I, I, we're holding I'm, oh. that vision. She's our new presidential. Now, the next stop, senior presidential. <laughs> and, and in case everyone doesn't know, yeah. the SPD trip next year is to Sardonia, Italy. Mm -hmm. And I know Janet wants to go on that. Okay. Kate, my 2022 bestest gift is you, our LifeWave tribe, helping people in a revolutionary way. And oops. You, you, okay, let's see here. Oh, Hold you on. can't see I the chat anymore? Space. That's okay. Yeah. Helping people in our revolutionary way and Nancy Smith introducing me. You know, that person that made the phone call, thank them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we thank Kai all the time. Um, and uh, Heidi's happy to be with you on the European idea. Yep, let me go Italy. All right. And Robin, we've got a, a few other things to cover and we're almost okay. at the bottom of the hour. So. Okay. Oh, okay. Intentions, yeah. everything. Um, let me see if there's anything we got to read. Girly Girls of Greatest European Convention. Let's see. Uh, be more visible. Make more videos. Be more of a leader. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Okay. 
Um, I'm willing to indulge in a pretty car versus a functional gas efficient car. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All I'm right. going to fly a plane. All right. Okay, anything else that we need to share? Okay, if you have anything that you want to write in there, do it. And we're going to go over a few more things. But again, I invite each of you to, um, to use this, not just for yourself, but every year Gregory gives this to all the kids. And one of his gifts, he asks for a gift from each one of the children is to spend one-on-one -on -one time with each one of them to go through these things with them. It's an incredibly touching, bonding, deep, heartfelt, wonderful time to be with your children and your loved ones. So we invite you to share with the people that are really close to you and really important. Okay, honey, we can move yeah, on. Well, thanks for bringing that up, Robin, because I did want to mention that some of the, the most valuable time I've spent with our beloved children is going over the questions with them, you know, and where they get to share their heart, their aspirations, their lessons learned, and what's their aspirations for the coming year. So it's a really wonderful opportunity for connection and alignment with people you love and care for. Your, your downline, your upline, you know, your partners, your children, parents, friends. So yeah. uh, we're just going to scoot along because there's some other stuff I want to cover. And I just want to remind everybody to give the gift of good health. Uh, you know, we uh, our family's all getting the gift of good health because we stocked up on aromatherapy. <laughs> and we forgot to give them to Sam and Mary when they left today. Oops. Uh, and oops. Celeste. And, when the, and because three of our kids are, 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 or two of our kids and one of the spouses are off to Mexico for three weeks. But I really encourage everyone to think in terms of giving the gift of good health. And, and the gift of good health may just mentioning affordable uh, breakthrough in stem cell technology. And you follow up later with a video, with a phone call, with a sample. You may just be sowing seeds of this wonderful gift. And it truly is part of the blessing we get to share in, that shared blessing of this gift of being younger and helping people overcome some of life's greatest challenges, which is health and wealth. They kind of go hand in hand, don't they? So uh, so you can download the questions, click there. If, you're, if you got the newsletter, you can download here and download the Christmas flyer. Uh, we are going to have a few changes uh, in our holiday webinar schedule, uh, we're not going to be doing anything on Christmas Eve, which we don't usually anyway on Saturdays. But Christmas Day on Sunday, no, nah, we're not going to do a power of the patch call. <laughs> we're going to have Connie and Janet a day off. Uh, and uh, on Monday, December 26th, uh, we're not doing any calls either the day after Christmas. So we won't have a Monday uh, evening call next week, but we're going to have a special year-end community call next Tuesday. In lieu of our X39 health practitioner call, we're going to have a call with leadership, field leaders, talking about strategy to close the ears strong, because that week, there's a full week going right up, you know, to Sunday night that we're going to have a lot of people going for a rank. And so, um, uh, we won't be doing anything on New Year's Day, but we will be doing a Monday um, early morning chat, but we're going to be doing a New Year's kickoff call on Monday evening. So our, our webinar schedule for the next week is right there. This is the regular weekly schedules right down below. I do want to mention the rank up because this is a, a wonderful time to take advantage of the ranking up. And so I know we'll have a lot of people uh, might be a little slower this week, but next week uh, it's going to happen. I mean, we, we've seen it over and over again because Christmas is over and people have this window of time and, and it, there's some something magical alchemical about just getting things done and people are ready to make New Year's resolutions. Well, a New Year's resolution could be turning on my more stem cells, you know, it could be all kinds of wonderful things. So the rank up is, is a very unique opportunity that's going to go away. You know, uh, it's over next Sunday night, um, New Year's Day. So because New Year's Day is on Sunday, this promotion goes through January 1st. OK, so opportunity for managers, directors and, and everything above. And I know we've got a number of people 
moving through the ranks as we approach the end of the year. Uh, anything you want to say about that, or I'll just keep moving us along well, here? You, why don't you talk about the, the extra director bonus? Okay, yeah, uh, we've got, uh, there's still room for maybe a few more directors. Uh, our upline enroller, Kai Jacobson, was so generous to sponsor a $10,000 new director bonus program. And we've got most of the spots spoken for, uh, but we're we're going to be awarding five hundred dollars each to the first twenty people, and so uh, it could be you. So if you or someone in your team is moving to the director level, uh, make sure that we know who they are uh, that first week in January, because the second week in January we're going to be sending money. <laughs> yeah, and and there's a link there for a form that you need to send to Gregory. So yeah. click to download the Live Younger yeah. Fall $500 new director bonus application. Mm -hmm. Please make sure that any new directors you have, fill that out and send it to Gregory. Yep, they kind of look like this, where people fill them out. And uh, get, so we, we know you're in the running. So those are the main things I think we wanted to cover. I want to be respectful for everybody's time because it's the end of the year. It's a holiday season. The rest of this, I will point out tomorrow, we have the blessing of our final health practitioner call of the year, none other than your friend and ours, Dr. Tom Acklin. So yay, Dr. Tom, tomorrow night, uh, most of the Power of the Patch calls are going to continue. And, you know, right now we're in debate and discussion with our leaders, uh, and we'll be discussing this more on our director call next Wednesday whether or not we should continue the power of patch calls because they're slated to end as of Sunday, New Year's Day. And uh, so, you know, if, if you'd like them to continue, let your upline directors know because we'll be discussing and making decision if we want to continue them into the new year, but they're certainly continued. So the rest of these calls, I do want to point out, we have JJ's uh, call from last Thursday morning. It's now available. You can click here for the replay. You can click here for the handout. Uh, and it was just a, a fabulous call. You know, she, again, knocked the cover off the ball for us and really set the stage for everybody as far as the power of completion, which opens the door for creation. So uh, can't thank JJ enough. And I know many of you uh, have done you know, uh, coaching. And, and as Robin says, we have JJ on retainer, because she's such a trusted friend, counselor, mentor, coach. Uh, we love her dearly. So, and I know you, you will too. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to JJ's presentation, 30 minutes long, and then there's some Q&A that goes on longer, but it's all right there for you. Any final comments on that, Rob? Um, uh, if you didn't hear it, Listen, what uh, it could change. It could change your life if you do want to be free in 23. You know, yep. I think that's what a lot of us want. And and we kept David's uh, pain relief um, link up there, too, because it's so amazing. And there's so mm -hmm. many treasures in there way beyond just pain relief. I mean, learning from David is a gift. And you can also find that in Live Younger Success. You can also find it in Live Younger Products. You can also find it on our YouTube channel because it's really important. I put it on my personal Facebook page. You know, who knows who I can help. And then uh, Nova is happening January 14th. Or the early bird special ends December 31st. That's coming up. So um, schedule your watch parties, uh, schedule being there at Nova, and it's going to be longer than they originally planned because they have so much they want to cover on our SPD call the other day. They said they were planning on a few hours, but they had too much good stuff that they wanted to share. And David did a beautiful job letting us know what's coming. And there's a lot of great things happening in LifeWave land. So I think that's it, honey. I do believe that's it. I think we're going to bring this call in for a landing and ho, ho, ho. Uh, we love you all dearly. We're so blessed to be part of this community with you and uh, wish you the very best for you and your family in this holiday season and, you know, and, and moving forward into the new year together. Yay. All right. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And um, I hope you're all dressed up and enjoying the spirit in our household.
if you're if you're decorating the tree, decorating the house, doing a gingerbread house, wrapping presents, you <laughs> must wear headgear. It's it's a it's a household <laughs> rule around here. We have a crate. We have a tub of headgear. Plastic tub. And yeah. the dogs even wear it. So that's right. You know, it's just about getting in the spirit. And we just love you all and want you to have a really, really wonderful holiday season, however you choose to celebrate in the quiet and not quiet, whatever it is, that it's heartfelt and know that we love you very much and are very grateful. So thank we you, are. everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.